Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. See, it's Nick Valentine. I thought, hey, after doing the last two Valentine's Day specials for today, why not do, why not continue? Why not, you know? I can't remember. Do I finish the Pikmin Gallery stuff? That'd be an investigative kind of thing, right? There's a dead guy here, so I'm thinking I might have done that already. Do you think we're gonna catch this Pikmin psycho? The slippery bastard got away before, but Slab won't leave a man breathing after he. Oh. Okay. okay. Let's look, let's reload that. I want to hear them talking. Don't sneak up. So we haven't done Pikmin before. Do we leave Pikmin live, or do we kill a Pikmin? He only kills raiders. Is he really any slippery different? Slippery bastard got away before. But Slab won't leave a man breathing after he's hunted our crew. I heard Pikmin skin Roy alive after he snatched him. Let the rats get at him. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. No joke. The faster we clip this asshole, the better. It always feels like something's watching me in here. What the fuck was that? I found him! Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have raiders. Let's get the I go for the legs. Anyone you walk away from. Pikmin's calling card. Surgical tray, aluminum. That's a thing. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be weighed down after this. So we have a guy here who's apparently killing raiders. All right. Yeah, that's the wrong. I've got it set to the wrong, the wrong uh, quest. Really. Let's see. Do we have a quest going? This might be an unmarked quest. Shooting straight, rookie. So we have art. Art made with the guts of raiders. Picnic for Stanley. Activate. All right, we can just pick this. You know, I think I think that 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 what's in there really depends on a. Uh, how this eventually turns out. Just getting warmed up over here. Did I already do this and Pikmin's already dead or and they just have respawned the raiders? Is this a much ado about nothing because I've already done it? Yeah, dead guy. Nothing! nothing. Hey, there wasn't really much there. Am I supposed to be going up or down? I never remember. I mean, so long since I read up on this. They're really, really canvassing the place for this dude. Give a mutant nightmares. Yes, it could. Yes, it could. I got the door open. Let's go. Hmm? Okay. Looks like we're we're going the right way. There now. What do you think? What the? He's clutching his Nuka Cola Quantum.
Okay, so this this is fairly disturbing stuff. Blood can. Look who it is. I guess we have to take a can of blood and a paper. Who's shooting me? Who's shooting me? Wouldn't want it going to waste now, would we? Oh, I let nothing go to waste. Turpentine. This is one grim locale. Oh yeah, you think? The guy's like gutting people apparently and I'm gonna be running out of room soon. Strong back or no. Bleh. But how do we get to? How do we get to Pikmin? Pikmin's calling card. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, he kills him, but I strip him naked. That's that's a nice rug. That is going to stain. Like I'm really wondering, did we did we complete this somewhere along the line? Pack of duct tape. That makes kind of some sense there too. Are we just rerunning the dungeon? Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Let's follow. Hickman! You can't hide forever, you sick bastard. Hickman! Okay, we obviously have to continue along. There's supposed to be. Okay, that's a way down. Hey, you still there? Can't see a damn thing. I'm losing my uh. Okay, that's a dead end. Barely see a thing. Why am I picking up rads there? Interesting. What the? We'll continue our way down. Let's investigate, Nick. Well, I hope there's a way out of this. <laughs> Starting to wish I had a uh, broad armor. A little jump jetting around would have been good. Oh, it gives away. Just the guy with shotgun! I don't think we're going. I think Oh we got something there, but I don't think it was sharp. Yeah, I hate when I do that. Hell aroma is that? Oh, I never think about Nick being able to smell. The hell aroma is that, huh? Nothing good. We can unlock this safe. I think I can unlock it. Come on! It, it. That's it. Cooking oil. Oil is good. Some cool stuff. Yeah, I think we're already encumbered. This is um, quite the maze. Now, is this the way back out? Or no? No, I would have remembered this. It's just me. Let's go sneaky wiki. Sneaky. The jet will make you jittery. 
here and she, yeah, she was right. Hmm. Who killed the one? Who killed them? What's that? Yeah, I'm carrying too much in and can't run, so I might as well go all in, right? It has targeting cards. Ooh, an antifreeze bottle. Those are good. Imagine the pervert created all Whatever this. They're aging in here. I think it's gone too long. Yeah. Quite the dungeon. More of a dungeon than I thought. Finally got you, Pikmin. Thought you could hunt and torture our people to your heart's content? I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Hell yeah! Okay. Hey there. Whew. That was close. Thank you. Those people deserved worse than death. Let's go. Why did they want you so badly? <laughs> A small disagreement. They objected to my hobby of collecting their heads. Let me repay you. What did you have in mind? A gift. Nothing more. If you visit my house again, look deep within my painting, Picnic for Stanley, and you will find my gratitude. You'll need this. Pikmin's Key. Wow. Someone cared for this place, that's for sure. So here's our quandary. This guy, and the dungeon here, is an absolute sick, crazy person who tortures people to death. <clears throat> See you around, killer. Go claim your reward. As much as I appreciate your help, I work alone. But it's not just no accounting for taste. Is there a, is there a fast way out of here? Usually there is a a way out. Huh? So, here's the moral quandary, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's a serial killer. But he only kills raiders. And I kill a lot of raiders. So, how does that make him any different from me, except that he does it slowly and terribly. I do it with an explosive shotgun. Does that make me somehow morally better? On a practical basis, he's useful to me because he's taking out the same people that I'm taking out. But he's also an absolute psychopath. Will he eventually turn to innocent people? Should he be destroyed? It is a quandary. I'd plan on killing him. But since he's not aggressive to me, it seems... It seems like, you know, again, I'm not forced to kill him. Perhaps... Perhaps he will, uh, you know, move on with his ways of perverted justice. Probably not. Help defend the checkpoint. Why is there always a... These Minutemen. How do I get out?
I can't even get to the checkpoint. What the heck? Let's get some more stuffs. Oh dear! That was yucky. Nothing's getting by me. Raider veterans. They're gonna have to pry this checkpoint from my cold, dead hands. Area secured, General. This site belongs to the minute. It does indeed. Okay, well, oof. I keep falling in. Okay, um, guys, hand up here. Got the general. area covered. Nothing new to report, General. Okay, we have to fast travel on back. See, now, because he's alive and is allowed to leave me a gift, I think there's probably something even creepier going on. This would probably be a Halloween special, but we're here with Val. It's, it's a Valentine investigation special, so. So there, huh? That's a thing. in the Pikmin Gallery. Now, again, this is a, someone who's fighting raiders, truly and despicably. He has no brief of me. Should I just cold point blank him in cold blood? And how can I let him live? Because he is an absolutely dastardly serial murder kind of person. I don't think I have an option now. I think now that you get to that point. What kind of monster? Pikmin's blade. Pikmin's thank you note. I think this is art. Here we have the thank you note. Let's go get the thank you note here. Hey, Ty, Dang, hey, I'm in the P. Thanks, killer. It's one of the things he says to you. Raider, message to Jack. What was the message to Jack? There's a hint to what's going on here. It was a, it's an audio. Seth, it's me. I found out what happened to the scouts who went missing up near the old art gallery. They're, they're dead, Seth. I'm looking at a, a goddamn painting of Cal's body. Oh, God. What the hell did I do to him? Who the hell is there? Admiring my collection. I'm afraid it's not complete yet. Soon, though. Stay away from me, you psycho! Yes. 
Just like that. Hold that expression on your face. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it's, I think it's too much of a walk to see if we can... Whoa, what is, is that... Oh, it's just Nick. If I got the chills, I should be able to provide them. Alright. Door unlocked, novice. What's in here? Sweet. This is just another place with all these horrific... We were in here already. It's just a different door. Grab more long jumps. I mean, you know, it's... It's all disturbing. And I probably should have shot him. I don't think I have the opportunity now. But, like... Again... The one thing about my character is I don't think he ever kills anybody who isn't hostile, who isn't trying to kill him. He always kills in self-defense. Time's up, asshole! Someone's coming. He never kills unless he absolutely has to. Not that it's Now this wasn't even really my main thing here. We were gonna head over to Cabotsville. Cabbageville? I mean Dana. Okay, so we did Pikmin's gift. That's interesting, because you had to do a whole thing just to get to the the quest. And we're really close. Now to... Tell you what, let's get the Cabot House on the, um, on the radar here, so we don't have to walk. Then we'll fast travel back out. You might say why, because I'm loaded down. Okay, there's Cabot House. Let us go. What's the nearest... Yeah, let's go back to home plate. Dump all. I haven't dumped anything off at home plate in a long time. And I got a gold Slayer's chest piece in there, but I've dumped everything off. Like painting a huge sign on their front door. Rob me. Okay, so here's Cabot House. Go away. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Let's drop the gun so we look more friendly. Dropping the gun so we look more friendly. That's the key to life. Hey! Yeah, but back to back to the whole Pikmin. Come on. Because Let's he... go meet the boss. Okay, where are you? Alright. Sounds good. <laughs> I should have said what is this. Let's, let's load back. I want to see what the hell this place is. What is this place? Sounds good. That's that's not interesting. It's the good line, but it's not the interesting line. Let's... What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Oh, good. N none of none of the answers are good. That's unhappy rich people, huh? Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome. 
but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. This place is more a museum than home. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. That's really interesting. Interesting's a word for it. I'm glad to hear you say that. It's become my life's work. My approach is to combine a rigorous scientific method while keeping an absolutely open mind. So much has been closed off to us simply because people assumed they already knew the answers. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even, clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Cabot has key added. What was all that about? Don't worry about it for now. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parson State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? I have some questions. Shoot. Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Anything else? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting okay, you over Parsons. So you'd better get going. I can say what happened to the package, but like, you know, obviously if they knew what happened to the package. See, that, that's not the exit. There we go. Unlocked with Cabot House Key. He's not going to tell me anything anyway, but I think I know this. Pretty sure that's the one that's right across from the slug, isn't it? Right across from the slug. I wonder if the um, if the slug guns will reach if I get up, end up in trouble. Be nice to have a little bit of artillery here. Well, the artil artillery will reach if I throw that down. But you know that's. I don't even carry flares for that anymore. It's a novelty, but, you know. It's so hard to get a hit with it, you know? If you can get a flare on them, then, hey, you could probably just shoot them. So it's, eh. Let's do the time warp again. 
Okay, let's see if I'm right. Yep, the one right across from the slog. Oh, I think we know where we're going to. Let's see. Coastal Cottage is in. We could probably walk to the for the Coastal Cottage. Co yeah, the Coastal Cottage. We won't have to cross the river. One safe house is as good as another, right? Wonder if we'll be able to see the full structures of the slog from the backyard of the uh, of the what you call it of the Parson Estate Insane Asylum. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. This is so totally not Valentine's tiny, but it's hey. Again, not using my armor because I want to use the um, the powers of what sharp armor I've been able to collect to boost my settlements as much as possible. You know me, I'm all about the settlements. Okay, obviously that's right there. Okay, how do we get in? Getting in is a thing. There's a way. Jumpy jump jumps. I'll tell you what, this wouldn't be a bad uh, some blood leaf. I don't even know what you use blood leaf for. Comment the description if you know what blood leaf is used for. I don't know. It's in a really crappy tea. All right, so we got it on the map. Dead guy, Mintats and Jet. Club flowers, baby rails, IV bag. No accounting for taste. Oh, you know me and my taste. This is all. All right, I think we're in the back here. So we're in the wrong. Part of the yard. We're going to have to go around. Something going on over there. Greater position? Not one of mine, I don't think, is it? You know? Something lit up there. This is a big place. Yeah, alarm went off. I edit that a little bit. One and a half seconds of danger zone. And this place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Who are these guys? Raiders? Sure. Assholes with guns. Although it's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Kind of like they're scouting this place or something. I don't like it. I'm glad you're going to finally get rid of them. Okay, so I guess I don't need to find out. You'll get to find out why. A Parsons Creamery? Where the hell is that? I can fast travel there. I've been to Parsons Creamery. Okay. That's familiar. We just did Parsons Creamery not that long ago. There was something else. There was some other thing going on there. What was that? Well, that'll save us some time. A little bit of fast travel. A little bit of fast shooting. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. Playing hide and seek. Okay. Mysterious serum. Obviously, we want to take that. So damage resist goes to fifty. Rads minus thirty-six thousand. 
36,000? Strength increases by five. Okay, so now we return to Cabot House. Seems like a good serum. The rad's minus 36,000. That's just hilarious. Oh, come on. Open it up with the key. Mysterious serums and all. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't mean... Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not Mother, a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out this to find Imogene. This place is more a museum Again. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? Hi. So did I you find out what happened to the courier? ...happening to Imogene right now. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. I can't hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. Why am I, why are my frames wrapping? Even... I insist you send someone to find Imogene. If she wanted a... Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery Seems from like Parsons. Seems like awful advanced setup for a Raiders civilian. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Okay, we have to go, uh... So you have to try the sarcasm here. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone. I was just mean. That wasn't sarcastic. Don't these people understand what sarcasm is? I mean, maybe that fits the definition, but I mean, still. Nah, it's not, it's not clever. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor, at the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. 
Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? <laughs> All right. Well, we know good neighbor. You got friends and good neighbor. Okay, another little bit of, little bit of loading. A little bit of fast travel. A little bit of good neighbor. Down the third rail. So, good neighbor. You're looking to stock up on general equipment. You can hit Daisy discount. Nah, you know, I never do hit Daisy. Well, I hit her, but I never go to the Daisy's discount. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Sounds like a crappy life for that, but you know, hey, listen, could be worse. And here we are. Like an earthquake, Looks like we got another freak just won't fit anywhere else. Running from something? <laughs> Welcome home. Okay, so who do we talk to? Is it set? Wild in I got my mind blown. My client appreciates the work you did with his rap problem. Yeah, if you're buying, let's hear what you want. You leave me breathless, weak in the yeah. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Ooh. That was rude. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. All right. Hey, listen. Is it a Valentine's Day without a little Linda Carter? Really? No. Peace, no. brother. His name's Ham. Mm, Ham. Alrighty then, so where are we headed now? Let's go to the map. Emogene takes a lover. Nothing really good as far as... You mean hallucinogen ink, but we have to go around that. Swan's Pond, that's clear, and we can walk straight up here. Let's try the Massachusetts State House. 
A lot of hostile places around here. This isn't a friendly, a friendly zone. If we're very lucky, we may, we may just run in. This is one of my provisioners can lend us a little bit of laser action. Little bit of laser. Laser action. Zip, zip, zap, zap. Pew, pew. All right, let's just do the time warp again. <laughs> what the hell aroma is that? We're near Hallucinogen, so. In the Massachusetts State House. Okay, so if we loop around here, we need to find a way that way. Uh, side street? Oh, you got less than friendliness here. There's Hallucinogen. Okay, that looks important. Hello, neighbor. Here to learn about our movement? Probably not worth taking. Well, I'm looking for a woman named Emma Jean Cabot. Do you know her? Oh, uh, Emma Jean. Yeah, you'd better talk to Brother Thomas about that. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... you know... romantically involved. See, Not romance. that it's any of your business, but... she and I are just having a little... relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Okay, how do we want to do this? We, can, we have enough... You're not holding her prisoner, are you? No, she's not a prisoner. She's just locked in her room until she calms down. She was acting crazy, threatening to run off. You know how women can get. We could offer 500 caps. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Few words with the lady and we'll be out of your hair. Look, truth is... We had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way I hope stronger you than she decide to change your life today. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. We're always looking for new members. You Welcome. should talk to Brother Thomas about how to join our movement. You have to follow him. Now, as I recall, later, there is a whole thing where you can do a mission with Brother Thomas. And one option is to kill him. And if you do that first, and I'd forgotten about this, and you go back, one of the speech chops is, hey, I killed the last guy who was running this thing. And the guy goes, oh, fine, let's, let's get a different brother. We'll, uh, we'll just forget about this and... But this worked fine. She's all yours, neighbor. We don't have anything to talk about. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister. I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society. 
Back when there was any. What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raider's got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. And you walked not into sure the wall? we want to see whatever kind of performances go on here now. All right, she found the door. All right, so now we have to teleport ourselves. And tell Mama. There are many levels to this. Yeah, I forgot about that that wrinkle to it. Otherwise, otherwise I would have done that other mission first. But you know, it's not like it's a, it's a wonderful mission. I think it's the one you have to give them all your stuff and then figure out how to undo the whole thing. Eh. It's not, it, it has never called to me as far as a mission that I really wanted to pursue. How much longer do it? Must we look at this robot's butt? Scooby dooby doop doop dooby dee doo. Clearing up. This place Edward. is more a museum than Edward. home. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? See now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... If they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in! Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. <laughs> At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's safety? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. What exactly does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects. 
elements, especially in the undiluted form that the Raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these Raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. If you're 400 years old, then you were born before the Great War. Yes, I think you were too. I'd say... mid-21st century? What makes you think that? Um, patterns of speech, general demeanor, physical health. You reminded me of the old days the moment I laid eyes on you. I just didn't put my finger on it until now. Is there anything else before we get going? Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. Jack! Are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced uh, anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Exactly what abilities does he have? Uh, enhanced strength, unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. Oh, and a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. That's why I've built a dampening field into his cell. Which is why we really need to stop these intruders before they turn it off. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why is that so important? If these intruders have gotten past Edward's men, they may have freed Lorenzo. I'm the only one who understands exactly how to deal with him. Is that clear enough for you? Okay. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. I don't need anything right now, thank you. So it looks like we've got some shooting to do. Hmm. Interesting. These people are 400 years old. That's an interesting thing. I wonder how fast they'll, they'll how rapidly they'll age. Do we Ready? catch up to them? Let's go. Just to be clear, under no circumstances can we allow Lorenzo to be freed from Parsons. I would have lost my father forever. I refuse to let that happen after spending so long trying to cure him. You have to walk the whole way? Well, that'll make for a little bit of a different thing. Who's that guy? Scavenger. Okay. Nick running? Yeah, here comes Nick. Huh. It's the artifact that's made Lorenzo so dangerous. I'm robot. sure his psychosis would be cured if it could be removed. But so far, all my attempts have failed. It's fused too tightly with his nervous system. Um, he's going into my... This could be a problem. Um... Never mind the fact that just looking at this stuff could cause things to lock up.
Have we found a glitch? I'm well aware of the apparent conflict of interest in my father being the source of the treatment that is prolonging my own life. But I assure you that if I had the chance, I would gladly give it all up to have my father back, even for a short time. Okay, uh... Got a minute? Come on. We need to find out what's happening at Parsons. All right, we seem to be stuck. Can I fast travel, or will he do, do we jog him enough? Okay, we got him jogged. Aunt Bethany! Aunt Bethany, Mr. Handy is a regular Mr. Handy. Lightning Larry! We need to get to Parsons. I know, you're standing there. We have the entire Commonwealth to explore. Where should we go next? Okay, we're moving again. Keep thinking I could just fast travel there, but... How far are we? How far away are we? We got got a long way to go here. Oh wait, no, that's a that's a different marker altogether. No, there it is. We have a long way to go. Do we want to follow him all the way there, or just fast travel? This could take a while. But it could be interesting. Let's see. This is almost, you know, pretty similar to my old Black Knight Caravan Guard kind of stuff. I said it was going to do that. I didn't realize it was going to be just this guy. Who's that? Spuds McKenzie. All right. You lead the way, and I'll follow, sir. You let him run, and then we can just drop some more stuff off here. Do 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 do, and transfer. And we'll keep Pickman's blade for the time being. I thought the IV bag was the hell item. Okay, there's a small nuclear explosion. Nothing to worry about. Identity Out of my board. Airport baggage handler one. All right, well, we know where he's going. Going into a war zone apparently. It has nothing to do with this. Here's while we walk along. Let's talk about this now. Pikmin. I let Pikmin go because he didn't attack me. I could have done, you know, the, the really simple thing was to let the other guys kill him and then kill the raiders and then it would have all been done. That was really my decision. But now, where'd he go? Where, where, where'd, he, where'd he run off to? Oh, there we are. I'm getting XP just for walking along here. 
there's something to be said. Who are these guys? Oh, those are my guys. Taking care of business, blowing stuff up. Oh, a checkpoint! They're gonna have to pry this checkpoint from my cold, dead hands. It's a checkpoint I actually don't have to defend because I'm already on a quest, I think. It's... Where is he going? Well, we know he's going to Parson State Pen, you know, Zane's Island, but still, like, where are you going right now? You're heading towards the water. And bad things. Huh? Or is this one of my. Is this one of mine? Just run. Oh my god, this is so. This is, uh, what I, I just realized. This is, I never come from from that direction. So there's Finch Farm. This is like a tour of all my stuff. It looks really badass from, from that direction. That's cool. That means we're closing on this log. Why are you looking at me? Keep moving. But here's the deal. Now we're going to be facing another possibility where we have a completely psychotic thing that should be killed because it's going to go and kill a lot of things. And possibly innocent people this time. Though we don't really know that Pikmin wouldn't kill innocent people. What if he ran out of Raiders and he still wanted to make art? Was it wrong to let him live? And what is exploding over there? Oh, another robot with Lost Souls Park. Baggy Chandler 3 is down. I'm going to hit save here real quick. You might say why. Because we're walking up on the slog, and if that thing is... Look how beautiful that is. Its weapon systems are active, just pounding the crap out of the... Out of the... What the hell? The, the furnace people thing there. The hot people. The forge. That's it. Now where are you running to? <laughs> People are out there. That see stuff's going on. Life continues. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's a beautiful thing of beauty. <laughs> Cashing up stuff here. Come on. This is your plan. Excuse me. Just follow me. If you'd walk. Okay, that was a little bit. Come on. Come on. Move, Jack Abbott. Fine, I'll just walk up ahead here. I mean, there it is. If we're going to do this via road... You really have to go back this way and around. I think he's I think his pathing might be broken because he doesn't know what to do here. <clears throat> we need to get to Parsons. All right. We almost made it, but let's just fast travel. <laughs> we could, I could have swum the water and gone around. And, but he's, he's frozen up there. and I'm afraid of this glitching out where he just doesn't move. And then we, we walk there and see if I fast travel, that'll un, un, that'll unglitch him. He'll just show right up. So let's say Lorenzo is something he says needs to be put down because he's going to go around with psionic powers and extra strength. See, that went from 73 to 28, so I think that might have been him kind of teleporting about here. 
Hub flower is gay. We have to work our way around here. Hub flowers. We're going all the way around to the front again. Just did this a little while ago. Pop it. Uh, how about here? Do, 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 hop. Let me through the hole. Let me in the hole. There we go. Seems like someone's on the move. There we are. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. Well, let's take all this stuff. To well, to From there, we can see how bad things really are. Uh, <clears throat> Come on. We need to find out what's happening at Parsons. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Yeah, I open the door. I'm sure everything will be fine. You know, whenever someone says, I'm sure everything will be fine in a video game, it's not. It never is. That's not even a thing. So this could be an interesting contrasting video. Two I'm different not ways. I'm sure that must have been one hell of a disagreement to merit all this. Hey. Do you have any sharp armor? No. Other side's chained up. Door's blocked from the other side somehow. We'll have to find a way around. Someone's out there. There's something out there. Something broke. Love this gun. Yeah, let's not take revolutionary sword. Let's just take the cool stuff for right now. I don't think we're alone. Oh, is somebody up there? Let me just take care of that. Tiny bits. I will keep it light. Hey, you know what we're gonna do? I said earlier, I've never taken before the mysterious stranger. He only appears in that. Da -da -da. I don't even know what the button is for that. Give up now, I'll make it quick. The advanced lock. Shortcut? Shortcut maybe? Nice. Nope, chunking zone here. Eh, I don't really need any steel or anything like that. These guys. I just watch them blast these rodents here. These, these buggies right. rather. I'll take the nuclear material. Anything in there? Ooh, a laundered blue dress. Duct tape. Adhesive is a thing. All right, you want to lead? Go ahead. You're the one with all the funky serum in you. I mean, I'm just badass my own self, but you know. Okay, so we're we're getting there. 
Well, there's the change door. There's his office. You okay? Edward, how badly are you hurt? I just need to rest here a minute. I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I I sent the elevator down to the basement Someone made like a you real wanted mess. and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. Yeah. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think it's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. <laughs> They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past it. It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength. An unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. You told me all this. We need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. <gasps> the Charisma Bobblehead! You too. Perfect. I didn't know I had that! Charisma up by one! Yes! I thought I had that one already. Oh, this is excellent. Okay, where'd he go? Um, I was busy. We'll be taking that. That's ex excellent. That made my day. Charisma bobblehead secured. Hey, Over fire. This is my property. You are trespassing. Yes, we're not alone. What's that? Then. Yeah, but you crap. Who oh, shoots him? Huh? What did Nick get? He we picked something up. That looks like it was like a silent sniper or something like that. Yeah! Look at him going with some kind of super duper sniper rifle. Alrighty. But I should still make people go boom. Making people go boom is my thing. It's a thing that I do. Are we going up? Are we going down? Where are we going here, Chief? There's That's blocked. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bucket. Dear Liza, dear Liza. Those hangers. Okay, that's just... Yeah, the pathing path on this dude. He's, he's a hesitant dude. Nothing special. I swear I must be going crazy. I swear you must be going crazy too. We never used this thing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. I have pretty uh pretty low expectations for happiness in this uh, the part of the Parson Sane Parson State insane asylum. <coughs> Parson, this is not my nice. happy place. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor. Come on. This is one grim low now. Like a ghost, What's up? whatever. There. Leave me alone. <laughs> he, just, he walked right past him. Come on. 
Okay, we have to let him kind of recover. This guy's a ported 308. Yeah, I yeah, not take that. That's Short time, we got lots of them. Is he still down? Anything in here? Oop! Aluminum cafeteria tray. We need as much aluminum as we can get, I'll tell you. Cooking pot. The cooking pot, I think, is good. Sure Might made steal. a mess of this place, didn't they? Whee! And obviously, we'll get to take the elevator out, so that's typical. Dad, did you hear me? Surgical tray. Where'd he go? It's the one shot booth. You having fun? Huh? I could do this all day. Spatula. I'm taking your spatula. Okay, let's follow this dip do. Bottle cap, stim pack. Hello, Jack, the one and only Jack. Whoa! Whoa! Jack, let me in. I'm oh, in the well, nothing to see in here. This sadness. Where did... Oh, there's that dip do What's in here? Makes you think that this was perhaps not a good place even in the day. Bottle cap, stim cap, dip it dude. You're not dead! Nothing! Battery clipboard, take a desk fan, why not, right? Okay, Raider Wasted. Going for good. <laughs> Alright, talk about it. that's a rough place to take a poop. Mistake, rookie. <laughs> rookie? Rookie? Really, that's the best you can come up with after I just walked through. You guys are supposed to be all boosted with all this serum, and I'm just walking around one shotting you. You're playing with the wrong you synth. Good. He said you're playing with the wrong synth? I got the chills. This would be the place to provide them. It's not a good place, I gotta admit. Diagnostic terminal. Security door control. Closed door? I don't know if we wanted to close any doors. Open door. We want all the doors opened. Hulk. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. Going this will take down. us to the basement. Everyone you see, don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. We need the key. We don't have time for this! The 
those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. They had no let me expense, see. Did they? Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Got it. Open if you don't have this door down. You'd best hurry it up. My son is quite I'm capable of stopping door. you hurry. if he gets in here. The is down. Apparently, Fire. even the simplest task is beyond your capabilities. That's it. Oh, I can feel my strength returning. Now, I will finally be free. There's still one chance. I just need a moment to enter the failsafe codes. Hell yeah. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Don't listen to him! Do not let him out! Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one here? Do not listen to him! This is what he does! Surely you can see that! Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. Two more to go. Hurry! We're running out of time. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Please, just open the door. That's it! Don't worry. The Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the art. Liar! You could put me here forever if you'd had your way, puny worm. Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? Good. Goodbye, father. Had the had the mic muted for a little while. I don't know how much of my commentary is gone, but I'm gonna say what I said before just in case. Lorenzo, I judge a man by his hats. That's what I get from years of playing Team Fortress 2. And you, sir, you a creepy hat. I can take your suit, but I can't take your hat. Well, I guess he said he could never figure out how to. Uh, He's not going to need any of this stuff. I can need that. Ooh, matches. Excellent. Permanently inflict plus two limb damage. Oh, that's cool. Battles are won with fists. Wars with wits. Take a lit cigar with me. Vegetable soup! Can't take the vases. They're just part of here. Excuse me. We didn't have any other choice, did we? It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. 
Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly have no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Ooh. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Fair enough. Yeah, it says helmeted cage armor. But to come back in a week. Come back in a week. How do we get out now? I'm assuming that there should be like a shortcut here. Now usually they, you know, when you get to the end of things, they don't make you go all the way back through everything. the right elevator though. I don't know. Kinda hoping. I mean we'll figure it out at some point. At least we built up enough ammo for this thing. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the shortcut elevator back. I see an exit sign. Commonwealth. Okay. Well, let's... We could really go completely wild here and just take everything, all these, all this leather. Normally I strip everything right to heck. We may as well. So all we have left to do now. I wonder where his, his security people are. Mercenary, I guess the mercenaries would be his, right? I don't see any of his named people. Maybe they escaped. Oh no, there's Maria. Sorry Maria, you did a good job. You tried. Alright, let's head to the slog. We're going to chill at the slog for a week. Let's see, data. Right now it's 7.40. It's the middle of July, 7.14. So we need to wait until 7.21. Coastal Cottage, this log. Don't cross the river if you can't swim. Da -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. And here we are back in a happy place. Let's just go find some place to chill. Let's see, maybe we'll head to the library. There we go, Piper's Library. And let's uh, sleep for a whole bunch of times. Interesting. You feel your lover's embrace. Who's around? I took my headphones off. I figure I'm just going to hit sleep. That's for an hour. I didn't want to do one hour. I want to do 24. Oh, do we have oh. hello, Curie. Let's, let's... Don't worry. We're going to... We're gonna do sleep some more. Twenty-four hours. We gotta get. We gotta get to the twenty-first. Feels kind of wrong sleeping with Curie. Never mind. As you wish. 
in Piper's bed. But we're just going to keep doing that because that's what we need to do to get to the 21st. Hey, look at this. We're actually having some romance here on Valentine's Day in a video where I really didn't think there was going to be any romance. Lots of romance. Interesting, in the middle of 717, it started to slow down like it's having trouble here. Something's processing and it can't deal with it. I don't know. Okay, lovers embrace again. Do I have any new missions in the from sleeping through all that? No. Let's keep sleeping. We jump. Is the bed used by someone else? That's that's my girl. Oh, my systems are eager to I get up and then she data. rolls over and then takes I the rest of the covers and I can't do. Okay, fine. She's actually sleeping now. So we have to sleep some more over here. Still feel the lovers embrace even though she's in the wrong bed, but we'll go back over here and then we'll sleep again. We gotta wait a week. You will wait a week in a day. Just to make sure that he's done with whatever he needs to get done. There it is. Through 719 into 720. This guy's stamina just sleeping with Curry is unbelievable. It's just... He just keeps going and going into the romance. Happy Valentine's. Oh, come on, baby. We need one more. One more night. Maybe two more. Love me two times, baby. Love me twice today. All right, now we've got to talk to Jack Cabot about the artifact. All right, we've gotten there. That's a thing. We have another miscellaneous... Okay, that's just... That's our latest miscellaneous quest. But it is 11 o'clock at night, and, you know, I'm really kind of tired. You know, all this sleeping. Let's just get a good eight hours. We'll strike out in the morning, you know? All right. Never mind. Yeah, nothing right now. Thanks, Carrie. Thanks for, like, you know, days and days of love. Um, oh, yes. Uh, let's... No, we don't want to transfer. We want to go to the transfer here. My misc. And somewhere the Charisma Bobblehead. Yes. And there we have it. Charisma Bobblehead has been added. Ta-da! So and I permanently have the Charisma. Charisma's up to 17. Nice. Interesting. I said I'm going to be going to Cabot House. He's having me go back to the Parsons State Insane Asylum. You have to go all the way back down into that office kind of area thing? Yeah. At least it put me right here. Hopefully he's near the entrance. Come on, load it up. Ba boom You see that? Still a bunch of... That is going to stain. Now I'm encumbered. Darn it. I didn't dump all my stuff. Alright, where is... Wait, where are we going? If the patients needed any more reminder what they were missing... Oh, back down the elevator. All right. Well, then we'll take the elevator down. And take the elevator down. Jump over all the barrels and let out a little scream. Okay, different game. Video, different video game altogether. And hey, nice move there. Squeaking in at the last minute. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you're back. Good news. I figured out how right to access the artifact's like telekinesis that. effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input. For better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, say what you think. Huh. 
How does it work? It uses standard energy cells for power. The artifact's internal power supply was destroyed. Otherwise, point and shoot. It doesn't kill people, but you may still be able to find some use for it. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the Southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. Hey. I only wish I'd been able to find some way to cure my father before it came to this. I still believe that with a little more time, I might have found some way to remove the artifact. But it doesn't matter now. Ahem. Leave me in peace. I need to mourn my father. Aliens in the Mojave? Ha ha ha! Oh, what a silly concept. Aliens in the Mojave. <laughs> what can we learn here? By the way, you can probably tell I'm losing my quiet background here. Wow! Birth date, March 28th, 1835. Date of admittance, June 11th, 1898. Length of treatment indefinite. Location, maximum security facility. Condition special, see below. Assigned to special, see below. Patient was admitted involuntarily to the maximum security facility for indefinite confinement. Treatment is under the direct supervision of Superintendent Cabot, which obviously must have been Jack. No contact with patients permit unless under explicit direction of Superintendent Cabot. So he really did. This is his facility. And let's see. Any other? Antonio de Soto. Birth date, July 23rd, 2042. All right. David Mins, 2068. So that was not, you know, that's like nine years before everything kind of went to heck. Length of treatment, five years. Extended. Isolation warm, room three, special. Assigned to a superintendent Cabot, patient was committed under special arrangement of his family. Legal counsel signed off in presence yeah. of superintendent Cabot. Let's look. Does this strike you like someone was committed just for reasons of, you know, the family wanted them put away for perhaps financial reasons? You know, it's. No treatment is necessary. He would not allow visitors or any outside communication as long as the patient remains cooperative. All reasonable accommodations. He said no treatment is necessary. What is the story on that? Looks like this guy is pretty shady. Anelius to whiskey. Patient admitted herself of her own accord. Has no visitors, no known relatives. Patient has never admitted to any crime or exhibited any violent tendencies. But details revealed during counseling closely match those related to the poisoning deaths. Of four sorority sisters at Massachusetts Bay University. Treatment art therapy results troubling. Robert Bobby Smith. Length of treatment eight years. Patient remained in the remained into the custody of Superintendent Cabot by the Massachusetts Department of Juvenile Services. Family local refuses to visit, happily admits to his crime, multiple homicide stabbings, music therapy, box toccata and a fugue in D minor, only piece known to stop his laughter, which is nearly constant. Well, that's lovely. That's buckets of lovely. Sharice Fano. From 2032. Two years, isolation worm, room eight, room six, special. Patient allowed to wear own clothing, black leather, so long as she continues to exhibit good behavior. Into the black leather. Okay, patient exhibits symptoms of oft misunderstood disorder, paraphilia. 
Symptoms of the oft misunderstood disorder of paraphilia. Conjugal visits by approved male associates. Discussion of said visits with Superintendent Keva integral to ongoing therapy. So she's allowed to have sex with approved male associates as long as she tells Cabot how treatment contemplative psychotherapy shocked them. What? But what is? Okay, now I, now I got to. Oh, that's a, we have to go back to that though. Night War, real name unknown, birthday unknown, 2074, length of treatment to be determined, room for. Patient ref refuses to share real name, claims it's secret identity. Patient believes he's a superhero, Night War, possesses, possesses exaggerated sense of justice, isolation from some patients essential to avoid altercations, reality therapy, extended counseling. We, what, what, we have to, I have to look that up. What is the other thing? Was it paraphilia? Paraphilia. Paraphilia? Okay, Google to the rescue. Paraphilia is uh, a condition where you have abnormal sexual desires usually uh, associated with dangerous stuff. D doing extreme or dangerous uh, activities. That's so... She wears black leather and only gets off if things are kind of scary. All right, dangerous. All right, well, that's it. But so, Kong Jugal visits are approved, but as long as Jack's talking about. All right, fine. That's just buckets of weird. So many buckets of weird. And the other guy. I wonder if there's somebody down there who thinks. Hey, can you go through? Can you go through all the? Uh, the rooms and find any artifacts from that's too much work I don't care if the guy has a super suit I just don't want to know which uh, which way is the way out it's right through here right exit stage left oh I didn't want to sit down I just want to take that guy's stuff must have been one hell of a disagreement to marry I all just want to take that guy's stuff Take that one stuff. Take that one stuff. Now, I'm going to dump all this stuff off at the slog, and then we're going to try the whole. Oh, here's a guy. That's a mercenary. And it's easier to see this stuff in the daytime. All oh, this now the. The bodies everywhere. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Um, they hit the floor. See? Now, there's one other thing I want to try. After we get rid of, after we finish looting everything. Okay, I decided to go back to the Red Rocket. Just it's a longer walk. Kill a little more time because there is one more thing that you can. I know there's one more effect in the game. But I don't know how long you have to wait to have it happen. Maybe I'll do a couple water runs. We won't record any of that unless something interesting happens. I'll just hit the button real fast. But there's one more thing to close out the Cabot story. Okay, so not a lot of time has passed here. I don't know when that started. Well, I'm getting a lot of lag here. I think I'm probably pushing the hard drive as far as hard as I can here now. Open. Eek. This video has got to come to a close on the, the sheer basis of practicality pretty soon. And here we are. Hey! Hey there. Hey. Yeah. Hey, you're alive! What's up? This place is more a museum now. You want me to take a crack at that terminal? I got it. Trinkets! Improved. I'm in. Wow, look at all of this. 1968. I think I finally have this new terminal set up correctly. Let's see if this saves. Yes, I can already see that this is going to increase my productivity immensely. Never mind mothers carping about newfangled contraptions. I see 
I see that I mistyped my name on the setup screen. I'll have to check the manual how to fix that. Hundred years later, Jack Kabat. It would get annoying to see that every time I log in. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Still learning how to work this new computer. Searched the manual for an hour last night, but couldn't find how to reset my name on the login screen. Oh well. Hardly worth worrying about right now. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. At some point, I'll need to take some time to scram transcribe all my old paper notes into this system so that I can easily access them. But for now, let me summarize my progress so far in understanding Father's condition so that I have a baseline to refer back to here. Alright, is anybody around? We can really explore the place now. Ah, oh, okay, this takes us up to the top over here. Booga boo it's a big house. Hmm. Massachusetts. Seems like an awful advanced setup for us. Bingo. Yeah, cool. Lorenzo Cabbage Journal. Thursday, 8th of February, 1894, off Cape Cod, aboard SS Wakeful. I'm finally away. Emma Jean and Wilhelmina came to see me off. Emma Jean begging me not to go, as usual, poor girl, she takes these partings hard. Jack wasn't there, of course. He thinks I'm making a laughing stock of the whole family. But these expeditions has no time for what he calls ancient superstitions. No matter. This time I'll return with proof that even Jack won't be able to deny. Saturday, 10th of February, 1894. In the Atlantic aboard SS Wakeful. The weather is fine and the captain promises a quick crossing to Lisbon. The red tape involving organizing this expedition tried my patience almost to the breaking point, but I'm sure it's better to obtain the necessary permits from the Omani authorities through the State Department. I can only hope that my chief of documents and ready cash will be enough to placate the local governor when I arrive. Wednesday, 21st, February, 1894. In the western Mediterranean aboard SS Wakeful. So far, so good. Uneventful crossing. Metinrich was waiting for us in Lisbon. With the welcome news that he had perfected his electrical sensing apparatus, which is now safely on board in its crates. If it works as well as he claims, this may save us weeks or even months of excavation work. Monday, 5th March, 1894, Suez, Egypt. Still awaiting to finish hiring our team of diggers. I am beside myself with impatience to be on my way. We are so close now, but I know from long experience that we'll have better luck with an experienced Egyptian team than relying on the locals. Wednesday, 14th March, 1894. Let's take a little while into this, Salada, Oman. At last, we docked yesterday and we've been unloading at a feverish, pa feverish pace. Any more delays, and we'll be in danger of having to postpone until the summer heat has passed. Friday, 16th, March 1894, Nirwadi, uh, Adiyam, Oman. We are on our way. Um, 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 uh, nothing more stands in our way but the impenetrable desert and the secrets of the ages. Ha! I welcome those challenges. They seem like child's life to the endless delays and paper shuffling bureaucrats I've had to overcome to get here. Thursday. 29th of March, 1894, empty quarter, Arabia. We have reached the spot without incident. Some, superti some superstitious grumbling from our local guide, which I take to be a good sign. Tomorrow, we'll see if Mentrich's apparatus works. If not, we'll be digging in the traditional way. Thursday, 29 March, 1894, empty quarter, Arabia. We have reached the spot without incident. Some superstitious grumbling from our local guide, which I take... Didn't they just read this? Tomorrow, yeah, we just... That's... Here we go, Saturday, 30 March, 1894, empty quarter, Arabia. Mettenrich's apparatus has been bulky, sand in its delicate workings, no doubt, but he has obtained a favorable reading in a depression to the south. Heat during the day is tremendous. We'll set up to work tomorrow and see what we see. Monday, 2nd April, 1894, empty quarter, Arabia. Nothing yet, the southern depression. Mettenrich swears it wasn't a false reading. Two more days and we'll have to begin a search grid across the whole site, or... As disappointing as that will be. Thursday, Tuesday rather, th 3rd April, 1894, empty quarter, Arabia. Success! Late this afternoon, the diggers struck worked stone, apparently the edge of a large circular structure. More trouble from the guide. The wisdom of not hiring the diggers local wisdom of not hiring the diggers locally now even more apparent as they pay little attention to him. 
Friday, 6th April, 1894, Ubar, empty quarter, Arabia. I am now convinced we have found Ubar itself. We've uncovered several fragmentary inscriptions with runes that match the ancient texts. We've made excellent progress, clearing part of what appears to be a monumental plaza. Wednesday, 18th, April, 1894, Ubar. All work has stopped. Sandstorm, one of the worst I've ever experienced. We are huddled in our tents in, in the lee of one of the large outcroppings, we must hope to ride it out. The darkness is complete, although it is mid-morning. Friday, 20 April. Sandstorm continues for a third day, like nothing anyone has ever seen. The guide is becoming very troublesome. Some of the diggers are beginning to listen to his wild tales of ancient curses and forbidden secrets. Even the normally phlegmatic Mettenrich is beginning to show signs of cracking under the strain. Saturday, 21st April. The sandstorm is over, but two weeks of work has been undone. The area we cleared is now buried under several feet of new sand. The guide disappeared in the night. I won't miss him, but the diggers are even more unsettled. Thursday, May 3rd. We've located what must be the foundations of the Great Temple. So far, nothing but stone and rubble, but something must have survived. But they're getting worse by the day. Mettenrich talking again of resuming work in the winter, but I won't hear of it. Not when we're this close. Sunday, May 13th. I must record everything while it's fresh in my mind, although it's hard to concentrate with the crown right here in front of me. It's almost unbelievable, even to me, that I hold in my hands an artifact so clearly not made by any human civilization. But let me set it down, let me set down as how it happened as clearly as I can. We had worked for at least a week to clear the shaft beneath the great temple. Even the diggers had caught the excitement. Then we hit solid stone, a cyclopean block, series of blocks as it turned out, obstructing the tunnel clearly del deliberately sealed by the builders. We are almost despaired of getting through. Three days of laborious pickwork. I wouldn't risk explosives here of all places, then break through into darkness. I was first in. The dust of ages covered everything. Clearly a burial crypt. Sarcophagus at one end of the chamber. We lifted the lid. Inside, even I fell to my knees in shock. The diggers that were helping us fled. Mettenrich, white-faced. I feared he was having a heart attack. Luckily, no. We made a full catalog of the tomb in the morning. I ordered it sealed up overnight. Not that I really believe any of the diggers would dare enter it again, but better safe than sorry. I removed only the crown, reverently, without disturbing the body or any of the other artifacts. And so, vindication! The crown waits, gleaming as if new made, although I know it is older than any human artifact ever uncovered. Later, I now know that this city's name was not Ubar, and that this building was not a temple, and what was beneath it was not a crypt. I have so much to learn, and so much to teach Wilhelmina and Jack and Imogene. When we return, we will return together. Monday, May 14th. Mettenrich was extremely surprised to see me wearing the crown this morning, and tried to argue with me why I ordered the men to bury everything we've uncovered. It doesn't matter now. The sandstorms will erase all evidence that we were ever here, before long before anyone can stumble across this site again, and the city's location is now safe with me till I can return and uncover more of her secrets when I'm ready. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, she twists this read and then take it. We don't need a gun in here. This must have been Lorenzo's room. Or maybe someone reading his stuff. Maybe it was... Well, I mean a cabin. How you doing? I thought, you know, let's see, how's everything going? I don't need anything right now, thank you. Oh, what do you want? I don't need anything right now, thank you. Okay, she doesn't need anything. Okay, well, I mean, you just go take a nap. She's tired. It's been a rough day. And let's see. Some Nuka Cola, clean black suit, bob pin, bed, sleep old. It's giving you trouble. I could give that terminal a look. Yeah, I know you can, but reluctantly overloading snake That's paper. Emma Jean Cabot. Another unwanted gift from my loving brother. Still, it might be interesting to play around with. Oh, they must be getting along great. This whole computer thing turned out to be more interesting than I thought. I've been learning about a lot from various uh, bulletin board systems. Jack's been 
DBS. This is Jackson griping about some mistake he made setting up his terminal. So I poked around until I found the file. It'd be simple to fix it for him, but it nearly as much fun as watching him try to solve it on his own. Okay. I was playing around with some new ideas and hit upon a good gag. I wonder how long it'll take Jack to figure it out. 1984. I went to see Father again and just showed up at Parsons and threatened to make a scene until Jack finally agreed to let me go down. I don't know why I kept. Go I don't know why I kept going. Father puts on quite an act for me, but I know it's not really him. Not since he got back from his trip wearing that horrible crown. I keep hoping that someday he'll come back. That I'll see even a glimmer of the real person again. Maybe Jack will eventually succeed. As annoying as he can be, I can't deny that he's very smart. Ten years later, 1994. I went off to see him for a whole month. I thought I could stick with it this time. But when you actually feel yourself getting older with a day and you know you can fix it, it's hard to give up youth and beauty voluntarily. I bet most people couldn't do it, even if they had the choice. Years later. Apparently the Robco techs don't even know how their own systems work. I mean, it's just a simple bat file in the root directory of the database server, for crying out loud. Hardly the hack of the century or anything. Old bat files! I haven't seen anything on a bat file in a long time. Things are just going from bad to worse. The things Robert tells me, most people don't even know how bad it is. And here we sit, safe in our little Cabot family bubble of privilege. I've tried to talk to Jack about it, but he's in his own world as usual. I doubt he even knows what year it is. My mother don't even get me started. Her whole life is a state of denial. I know this is insane to even think, but maybe this is for the best. You think I could just get a gun or some poison if I really wanted to end it for myself, but I could never be that deliberate. How selfish must I be to think that I need the world to end as a way for me to get out of killing myself? Oh, happy chick! That's us great. That's that's not. Here's when the bombs drop. 1023, 2077. It's happening. I think a bomb must have hit somewhere near. Power is out all over, as far as we can see from here. Then how are you typing? The emergency power is still out in the house. Oh, there you go. But not for long. Edward and Jack were trying to get to Parsons. Priorities, you see. Jack left uh, Anders in charge here. He seems competent enough, but there's something about the way he's been looking since it happened that I don't like. Oh, that's got to be the guy turning into a, to a ghoul. I better get back to Mother. 11.19. I got the power back out again. Things have been very bad. But I would never admit this to anyone, but this is the most fun I've had since I can remember. I'm not bored anymore. Maybe this is how most people feel all the time. I really can't remember how I felt before the serum. Oh, and Andrews is dead. I killed him. No one can believe it. Two days after Jack left, he decided that the Cabot house belonged to him, and Mother and I would have to leave. Can't really blame him. I mean, it was the end of the world. Well, I'm not sure most employ employment agreements cover that. I'm not sure most employment agreements cover that, but he made the mistake of underestimating me. He didn't know how fast I was or how strong. I would have probably just made him leave, but he decided to fight. Probably better that way. One less person out there who knows about what we have here. We haven't heard from Jack for a week. He and Edward had made it to Parsons. At least Jack radioed when he arrived. Tried to be cheerful as usual, put on a happy face for Imogene. But who really knows if they're, if they're going to manage? At least Edward is with them. If anyone can get through this, it's Edward. So Edward has been with them the whole time. So that's the ghoul dude. December 2077. This is still fresh after the, uh, the war. Jack made it back, finally. He says Edward is very sick from radiation. He left him at Parsons. I don't think he expects him to live. I'm not sure why neither of us is sick. I was out quite a lot, now that I think about it. Maybe another of the many benefits of Jack's magic serum. I have to thank Father the next time I see him. It turns out that eventually even the apocalypse can get boring. Jack and Edward are too good at keeping us safe. It looks like the Cabot family is immune from the end of the world, just like everything else. We just shrug it off and keep on going, just like we always have. Sometimes I'm very pleased about that. Makes me feel incredibly superior. Sometimes it just makes me feel really sad. Most of the time it's just boring as hell. I think we're almost through here. One more? No, there's two more. 2120. I've stopped even telling anyone where I'm going. The world isn't as dangerous as Jack says. There's still people out there living their lives like they always have. I guess more of them are willing to kill you now, but that's probably just because they can. I always got the feeling that plenty of people would like to see us dead before. They just couldn't get away with it. 
And the final entry, 2251. I don't know how Jack keeps himself busy day after day. You'd think he would realize it was hopeless, but no. After all these years and years, maybe just going through the motions the way I am. Or maybe, or maybe he stopped trying to cure Father. I mean, what happens after? Does The only one who's ever tried to go without the serum. I'm the only one who's ever tried to go without the serum. Maybe Jack and Mother think they could just give it up. But I think they're fooling themselves. All right. Valentine liked the fact that I was able to hack that. Okay, which way was it to the, the main terminal? Was it through here? What the... What? What? What is... Okay, um... Considering how they consider there's some backstory to these things, what is this... One looking at that's just freaky as all. Get out. You can see one to get out. Where is the? All right, if we go down here, then we go. Aha! Here we go. The main terminal. You know, the more I think about, it, I wonder if I even did kill. Uh, Mr. Cabot there. Come through. I think I finally set this new terminal set up correctly. Yes, let's see if this saves. Aha! Computers! Do fangled contraptions. Hooray! I've mistyped my name on the setup screen. I have to check the manual see how to fix that. It'd be annoying to see that every time I log in, and it's still not fixed hundreds of years later. But I mean, you know, think about this. I killed the Rinzo Cabot by bombarding him with Zeta waves. Now Zeta, that's an interesting selection for a, for a letter. Still trying to figure out the computer. Because the Zetans are the aliens that we found in the game. We've, you know, there's not any question in the Fall universe if there's aliens. Yes, they are, and they're not nice people. All attempts to directly remove the artifact have been unsuccessful so far. Father's blood pressure dropped precipitously, and did Detectable brainwaves nearly flattened lined each time. I don't know. Results were the same with total anesthesia, local anesthesia, several types of antipsychotics. Various dosage of LSD. Now that's interesting. An actual real world drug in the game. Almost all the drugs in this game have been redone. I mean, you know, morphine is med X. You know, there was, and there was some reason for that where they did not want them to have that there, so why would they put include LSD? This implies that disabling the artifact in some way will be necessary in order to remove it from father. Question! Is the psychotic effect permanent? I.e., will this will it survive removal of the artifact? Like if he takes the artifact off his father, will the guy stay crazy? Or is the artifact actively and directly inducing it? Now personally I think what's happened here is that an alien personality has overwritten Lorenzo's actual personality. He has been possessed in some fashion. This artifact must have been some alien artifact that, that you know the, the aliens transferred their psyches to and then as soon as someone's stupid enough to put the hat on, boom! They pretty much, Lorenzo, Lorenzo died in the 1800s. He's just, you know, this was just an alien that got taken out. So obviously, completely different case here from Pikmin who Again, that was a very borderline thing, too. I probably should have shot him. Maybe we'll go back and shoot him. I don't know. I feel... I ha I've been very cautious with... I don't know what... There's, there's no right answer there. That's the that's the fun thing about a true Fallout thing. They love those gray areas. That's a, a Fallout tradition. Putting you in situations where there's really no good answer. I've been uh, very cautious with directly, physically interacting with the artifact since... The very early days, my initial attempts to probe or tinker with it were met with similar physical symptoms in Father to my attempts to remove it. So if he messes... Okay, so I finally get this. When he messes with the, the, art, the artifact, it starts to shut down, and then it starts to kill his dad, so therefore he can't screw with it anymore. Active scanning of the artifact itself has proven useless. I consider this a dead end. X-rays? Completely opaque to X-ray as well. Obviously, I'm limited to the amount of radiation I can risk subjecting Father to. Not really. If you think about it, the artifact seems to make you, uh, you know, and the serum makes you immune to radiation. That we looked at that one uh, serum sample, and it was minus thirty-six thousand to rad. So yeah, you could probably really pound the guy, and he would have been fine. 
Radio imaging, again, the artifact is opaque at all wavelengths. It might still have been a complete waste of time, but still, you could probably have really cranked it up. Passive scanning has been more promising. This is an area I plan to devote more time, much more time. The artifact radiates across the electromagnetic spectrum and at varying strengths and wavelengths. I have some basic telemetry already built into Father's cell. I've been collecting data for the past two years. So far, it's much more suggestive of further avenues of research, but I'm quite confident that over time, with sophisticated sensors, I'll be able to gain useful insight to the way the artifact is controlling Father. To do, get military contracts from Senator DeSoto. Wasn't DeSoto the name of one of the people who we, we said was put into the uh, asylum for no apparent reason? What was the story there? Why, why would DeSoto want to be in the... Why, why would he be committed? They are likely to have more advanced tech than I can get commercially. Consider making a deal for Samson's serum if necessary. Ah! So maybe he was giving him the serum. So where is DeSoto? He should be still alive. The physical symptoms and changes that the artifact has induced in Father are as follows. Extremely paranoid and psychotic tendencies. This is obvious from the first. Since no drug has proven effective in mitigating these symptoms, all evidence points to being directly induced by the artifact. I think, like I said, I think this is a, per a personality override. Agelessness. As yet, undefined modifications to his blood chemistry have prevented any further aging since he first encountered the artifact. In fact, he may be in better physical health than before. It seems likely that the artifact is actively controlling and correcting any problems it finds within its host organism. Very well put. Telekinesis! The most surprising ability. I tentatively believe this is not actual telekinesis, but it's something generated directly by the mechanisms of the artifact itself, perhaps using manipulation of gravity waves beyond our current technology. Increased Physical strength, perhaps a side effect of the artifact's monitoring and improving of its host. This caused some difficulty early in Father's confinement before I was fully aware of his abilities. I wonder how he's been working on this guy. The guy seemed really just, you know, ready to say, you, you open the door, he's coming out, he's taking out everybody. I mean, I don't see how he even worked with them to begin with. Of course, he did say that it's, it's, he's becoming more and more involved with this over time, so it must be getting this worse. Father's blood chemistry shows various changes from human norms, as well as traces of a currently unidentified substances. I have proven that at least some of these symptoms described above can be communicated to another person through use of blood transfusion. So far, through pure trial and error, I've been able to produce a serum with several of the beneficial qualities and few side effects. But my actual understanding of what the serum is doing is, so far is very limited. I'll continue to pursue that at a time as time allows, but it seems unlikely he had much use in actually freeing Father from the artifact. But it makes him live forever. X-rays of Father's brain show no physical intrusion of the artifact. His skull remains intact, which you wouldn't expect that from high, high technology alien stuffs. And I can see no signs that it has even penetrated his flesh. At this point, I believe that the blood chemistry changes must be in, induced by the artifact indirectly. It is instructing Father's cells on how to manufacture these substances. My most, my most successful intervention to date has been the development of the abremeline field. The abremeline field reminds me of that, you know, there was an old fire sign theater. Well, I think it was called you know, Waiting for the Electrician or Someone Like Him. Something along those lines where they were talking about the development of the Zeppelin tube. And that was probably, a, it's, it seems, the abremeline field gives me that kind of field. Especially since this would have been a similar era. A presentation. Detailed specs and files of Parsons. The earliest crude implementation. 1898, the Abremelin field was developed. By simply a full spectrum dampening field. Known to the same frequencies given off by the artifact. It did interfere with the artifact's operation. But at great cost of father's health. At the time, I had no choice. He would have been impossible to confine any other way. Okay, so that's how they just dampened the heck out of him and... But refinement of the field has been a priority over the last decades. I've managed to reduce the negative physical effects on Father while more, du more directly blocking the artifact's telekinesis power. So far, my attempts to broaden the field's interference with other aspects of the artifact have been unsuccessful. They bring on similar physical symptoms to attempting to physically remove the artifact, but this remains the most promising avenue of my research. If I can discover how to interrupt this communication, I believe I'll have the key to removing it, or at least very least, in mitigating some of the other dangerous symptoms, psychosis, etc. Now, I'm going to say right here, I think this guy was it was a lost cause. Because I think probably this guy's personality was was eliminated in, in, you know, in the process of going into complete remote control from the artifact on his head. And that's why when he takes it off, the guy goes, bleh, because he's not there anymore. 
Mother and Imogene have left for another European tour while I take care of the latest generational shift. Ah, generational shift. Getting more difficult to make this work in our modern age. Luckily, money still talks. I have, I'll have to find someone reliable to leave in charge at Parsons while I'm gone. Perhaps Anderson can be trusted, trusted not to meddle. So this is how they disappear for I'll come back. Hello, I'm my, I'm my own son. There we go. It's, I wondered how they were handling that. The whole Highlander problem, you know? I am an immortal. It is, it's good to be back. Jack Cabot, long-lost cousin of the Cabots, has returned to claim his inheritance after the freak accident that claimed the lives of Jack and his family. As usual, I have to be careful to respond when people address me as John. Oh, I see. So he's still Jack, but now he's John Cabot. And this beard is going to take some getting used to, but such are the burdens of immortality. Anderson proved loyal and uninclined to poke his nose into anything. So that's another hurdle passed. I need to try to, to get as much done as I can while Mother is away. I find I am much more productive than usual during these transitions. So that was like a, you know, a 10 years. Oh, that's a one-year jump there. 2023. I've been experimenting with some of the new transistors, and it looks possible. Some of the new transistors. Now, this is a very, very fallout thing. Transistors were not developed in the 50s like they were in our universe. They were developed very late in the game. And it looks possible to make a portable version of the Abremlin Field Generator. This would be very useful if we ever had to move Lorenzo to a different facility for any reason. A lot more work is necessary, of course, and testing it on Lorenzo is out of the question. I won't risk shutting down the main field, but replicating the current field's frequency pattern should at least give us something that we could try in an emergency, even if I can't be 100% certain it would work. That's why all the, there's all this tube technology, because they just they haven't really taken off. I've just hired a new fellow to help with the family's affairs, Edward Deegan. Comes highly recommended. It's too easy for me to ignore the passage of time now, but I've just realized how old Daniel is getting. It will be time for him to retire in a few years, and it's past time to start such grooming for his. It's past time to start grooming his replacement. This is always such a difficult process that I tend to put it off, especially as mother can be so difficult with anyone new. If Edward proves reliable, I can start easing him into the family secrets. Tricky, but necessary. So far, so good. Mother has taken to him, which is an essential first step. And I sent Edward still with them. 2075. I've had Rob go out again. Seems like a small thing, to, but this login screen glitch has been driving me crazy <laughs> for decades. Sister's already figured out. I assumed that it would be fixed with the upgraded terminals, but you, you can be sure I was careful to type my name incorrectly this time. But no. When it booted up the next time, there it was again. This time they completely wiped out, wiped the entire system and reinstalled from their master holotape. Unbelievably, the typo was still there. They've promised to have some of their sharpest engineers look into the problem. But I'm not sure where they're, if they're, I'm not sure they were being completely serious. If I don't hear from them within a couple of weeks, I'll make a few calls. His sister can figure, he's already, she's already figured this out. 2076, a year before everything goes to poop. Apparently, the political situation has become very dangerous. I don't pay much attention to current events, but Imogene's latest bow is a high muckety-muck in some government agency and has been telling her alarming stories about how close things have gotten to a full-scale nuclear war. I wonder if we are following in the footsteps of the ancients who created the artifact. If so, who might our successors be thousands of years from now? Would a cockroach civilization eventually rise to wonder at the artifacts we left behind? That's always a thing. After the war has started. Tw December 1st, 2077. He didn't have a war entry. It really happened. I don't think I've quite come to terms with what it means for the long run. It's in one crisis after another. We certainly aren't out of the woods yet, but the simple fact that I can write this again means we are better off than most people. I don't have time to write down everything that's happened. Unfortunately... Fortunately, Boston was spared a direct hit. My first concern was Parsons, of course. We had to maintain power at all costs. We've always had backup generators, more than usual even for a medical facility, but they're, these were intended for short-term outages, not a permanent power supply. Then there was the question of security. Edward proved himself amazingly resourceful. He already had plans in place for just, for just such an emergency. Thank God he paid more attention to the news than I did. Still, there's no real planning for the end of civilization. He and I... Are, I've been at Parsons for almost a month, trying to keep things from completely falling apart. Edward has been out more than he should, and I'm afraid he has taken a heavy dose of radiation. 
But there was really no choice. I'll do what I can for him. I don't know how else, how I could replace him now. Ebogene has stepped up amazingly. I had no idea she had it in her. The man we left in charge here proved unreliable. Apparently cracked under the pressure and tried to evict Imogene and her mother at gunpoint. He didn't reckon on Imogene, and neither did I. She took charge and somehow kept things secure here in spite of everything. I'll have to see what Edward can do about a more permanent solution for power and security for Cabot House. But for the moment, things look much better than they might. I expect even our resources will be tested to the limit over the coming years, but in some ways I'm glad of the challenge. One thing's for sure, the end of the world isn't boring. Amazing how extremely long life, the big, they all talk about being boring. 2080. I think I can finally say that things are looking up. Edward has recruited a more or less reliable security force to protect Parsons. The power situation is stabilized. Edward assures me that we now have spare parts stockpiled for a, to at last at least 50 years. Moving between here and Parsons is still the biggest problem. There's no sign of any return to law and order. Just the opposite effect. But Edward has proved skilled at dealing with the various groups of thugs that have sprung up. Speaking of Edward, his radiation sickness has developed in a most fortunate way. For a time I thought he was surely going to die, but then his condition stabilized, and now he seems actually immune to further radiation. Apparently this is not unknown in other survivors, although Edward tells me that a strong prejudice has developed against these people. Hard to understand as they seem uniquely qualified to survive in this new world. One benefit of the end of civilization is that I hadn't of one benefit of the end of civilization that I hadn't anticipated. There's no need for us need now for us to have to die periodically. I can go back to being Jack Cabot again for the foreseeable future. No more neighbors to poke their noses into our business. Twenty one fifteen. I have lately immersed myself in Lorenzo's work like never before. I wish now I had made more effort, when it was still possible, to try to locate the, the site of the so-called Ubar. After my initial failed attempt to find the site, I dismissed it as both hopeless and useless. Better to focus my energy on the immediate problems, but now, after going over Lorenzo's papers more thoroughly, I believe there are enough clues to the general location that a large-scale search using aircraft might have been feasible. Something that, was impo something that was impossible in my first attempt, of course. Me, I could have found some other artifacts that I could have studied more directly, even if they were for completely different purposes. It, wouldn't be invaluable to un it would be invaluable in understanding how the ancient technology functioned. I've also come to realize how brilliant Lorenzo actually was. I was far too quick to dismiss his theories as, uh, The ignorance of youth. I'm now convinced that his essential premise is correct. The artifact he found was not made by humans. All the evidence was there, but Lorenzo was the only one who put it all together and actually understood what it meant. A staggering thing to think of. If only he had been capable of dealing with fools a bit more diplomatically, he might have gained a more general acceptance of his theories and not been driven to such secrecy in his final expeditions. That's the end of that. But as I said, I'm a Zeta Gun. Is this a Zeta Gun sitting here? Bingo. What does that do? And how does it compare? The Zeta gun is damaged. Doesn't do much. It's just it's just a radiation gun. That's. I'm sure he won't mind. Have you seen my Zeta gun? There's really no purpose to it anymore. Almost like the war never even happened in here. Yeah. Almost. What's down here? What secrets? You people again. What's up with you guys? What's with all these mannequins? I got the downstairs kitchen. I'll take his Zeta gun, but I won't take his whiskey. It's just a really kind of a normal place. Up to keep a light bulb in the ice cooler. Some rat axe, we don't really need. I could take I've been their... told the Valentine Detective Agency signs are an eyesore. But they sure bring in the business. Safe. There's a fat man in here. This must have been like a bunker for Yushanka hat, steamer trunk. A mini nuke? Do I steal the mini nuke? 
Or do we just remember where it is? Oh yeah, unlock the mastery of the lock here. I mean, I have so many fat men and so many mini nukes, and I can just get them from, you know. So this is a tricky one. No sweet spot at all. There it is. Nice. <laughs> Nothing secret, though. Do that a little too well. <laughs> I do. I do. What the heck is that noise? Target lock acquired. Specialization operation. Uh oh, I pissed off at Mr. Handy. Wow! What the heck? Why was I sending Nick someplace? What happened? Um, I think we have to reload. Something weird happened there. I mean, you don't have to go through and reread everything, but I mean, it's... I didn't take anything. Nothing was marked owned. What the heck is this? That's major, major. Okay, somehow that... Let's, let's reload. Yeah, let's try that. Because I took the Zeta gun? We don't really need the Zeta gun. What the heck happened there? Suddenly there was like robots everywhere. Okay, let's walk downstairs. We took the Zeta gun. We didn't go anywhere else. Hi, Deegan. Excuse me. Hey. Okay, he's got not got much to say. Um, Nick, I think before anything else weird happens, we should just take off. Some very, very, very strange things going on there. I don't know what happened there. Oh, well, it was definitely interesting. Okay. There is... Obviously a Brotherhood okay. squad somewhere. Okay, he's a friendly Mr. Handy. Sentry bot. There's like a sentry bot here. I guess that's like... It must be their sentry bot. Let's give ourselves a little bit of room here. See where the helicopter is. No, the Pikmin gallery shows is clear. Is Pikmin still there? Should we go back and try to figure that out? What do you think we should do? You think we should kill him? He's not bothering anyone currently, although he does tend to just torture and kill anyone who wanders in who happens to be a raider. I don't think you see him ever again. I think we've had our chance. You think they're gone for good? Uh, not good. Wow. Now he's gone for good. 
Oh, someone. The showed is so clear, but not exactly, I guess. If you go back, can we find him? Well, it's kind of a little bit quite linear to get back here. No sign of him. No sign of the Pikmin. So, we, we had our one opportunity and now the man's disappeared. Maybe he's going to give up his life of murdering raiders or maybe maybe will be just like having a wasp trap somewhere in the town. The raiders will go in. You know, a roach motel. They check in but they don't check out. Oh well. Not like there's this, this world of Fallout 4 is devoid of dangerous things. I always wonder what was the right thing. Should I have should I have killed someone in cold blood just because they might do some, you know, they've done terrible things and they might do more terrible things? That's what we did with uh, help defend the checkpoint. Oh, here we go again with the checkpoint. Oh, this was an opportunity to go up top. Yeah, there wasn't anything up there to see. At least now we can run. Run to the checkpoint. Help defend the checkpoint. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Help defend it, help defend it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And hook around. Whoa! Okay, I have to I have to try and do this without the explosive. Mythic Death Club. Multiple. What the heck is that? A minute man in a pink hat? What the hell is... Where did a Minutemen get a pink hat from? And where did he go? They're gonna have to pry this checkpoint from my cold bed. Where's the pink hat guy? There we are. Got the area covered. Where'd you get a mining hat? Terminal. Is it terminal here? Oh, that's interesting. Raid trash crowd. No, it's a novice. We can get in. There's a baton walls. Opens. Yeah, I guess opens would be a little bit. Would you set your password to opens? No, it's hides. No, that races. Error. Okay, we don't want to do that. Let's see. The word of young. Yes. There we go. Security door control. Open door. Accessing mag locks. And what's in here? Aha! A classic T-45 in nearly perfect condition with fusion core. And I just have to be not wearing armor. All right, that's a collectible item, folks. Let us move on out. We're almost through here. There's only a couple things I want to do. I want to check out Good Neighbor. Because I didn't see Imogene, and Imogene hangs around there. I wonder how she's doing now. Oh, it looks like her, but it just... Yes? It says Drifter. Hmm. Maybe it'll take a little while before she comes on back down. Anybody in the back room? Yes. Yeah. yeah, she's just a Drifter. Hey! You must be Imogene. 
Oh, it's you. Yes? Hey, sister. How's your fella? He's not used to dating a We've had nothing but fun. Yes? Oh, hey, it's you. I had you. some hang-ups the first time I dated a ghoul. But I mellowed out. Just give me some time. Yeah, here's hoping, huh? Okay, she doesn't save much, but she does look all perked up and young again. Well, we're all paying for it now. Down another gun. Hell of a load you can step up Hey, I got your back. No worries. We can put it on the grid. Alright, well I guess she'll be hanging around down here now. Wonder how long she'll stay young. Speaking of which, where's she, where's she hooking up here? Where's she heading this? Oh, there she is, just hanging in the back room. Hi. Oh, it's you. That's all she says. All right, well then. Come on, guys, you can put some, some dialogue in here. All right, let's. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drunks. Yeah. Help defend Echo Lake. We just defended Echo Lake. Well, let's head down here. Let's see. Before we go back to Echo Lake again. No, we just defended the visitor center. Ah, I guess it's time to get back and forth. But first we're gonna, I want to say, where was the, where is that elevator? Here it is. Take the elevator down. In my new suit of armor. The 45 is really the classic Fallout suit of armor. It's missing an arm. Not a complete suit, huh? Well, he hasn't aged yet. Hey, leave me in peace. I need to mourn my father. Supposedly, at some point, you, if Looks you if like you the check, last time I, got a check -up. I think at some point, if you give it long enough, they start aging again. I don't know what'll happen with the imaging, but I think it's going to be outside the scope of this video. All right, we've got a certain amount of time here. Since it's Echo, since it's the Echo Lake Lumber there, whatever it's called, why don't we go pick up our girl Curie here? Nick's got to head back, see if there's anything new going on. Report back to the secretary. Is bigger than strong new. Oops, sorry. Terrible, sorry. Humans all look funny. Yes. Do you need something, Monsieur? I'd like to travel together some more. Then let us get on the way. All right. See you later, Nick. Yes. You should. Now we can go to Far Harbor. No. Unfortunately, Nick wasn't really nearby enough for me to actually tell him to go there because I had just jumped off a building. But now we'll go successfully defend the Echo Lake. I still think it's profoundly ludicrous that I can build up all these defenses, but if I don't show up, then somehow... 
you know, the place is going to be achieved. I mean, I don't do anything. Okay, everybody's I'll a little be bit beat up. I give up on taking back my land. Yeah, there's always not much you can pull out of the, the super mutants. Well, it looks like everyone's kind of perked themselves back up after being knocked around. Mostly. But you're holding your guts in, you okay? I'd like to trade some items. Here, yeah. Take care of yourself, son. Children of Adam are dangerous. Let's see, does he does he perk up? Well, I have to re repair a few guns. That should help things out next time. Probably got damaged at some time I didn't get here, didn't realize it. Or maybe just uh, like here. What's up with this? One of these have to be, or does the connection point have to be repaired? And then there was a little bit of noise in the background, and so I hit the mute button on my microphone, and of course, I did not unmute it. I thought I did. I said many insightful things. All kinds of stuff about, you know, what's happening on the screen in front of you. Not sure what that was. It's been some hours. So, the best I can tell you is that my, my overall thoughts on this is I, I think as I traded out uh, Valentine for Curie, you know, got my, uh, my rocket girl back here to do some other things. We ended up going and rescuing uh, Echo Lake Lumber there somewhere along the line. I dumped off some stuff in the, in my own Red Rocket. You know, there's just some basic you know, house maintenance here, but these two, uh, these two missions actually answered for me at least there was a criticism about Fallout 4 being basically just a good guy game where your decisions don't really matter all that much. The final decision really is just a couple different variations on one decision. You guess you could pick the institute, but you know, there, there, there was like a cut. It wasn't as during the whole game, except for like some some major decisions. You didn't get a lot of opportunity to actually kind of come up with you know a, a way of approaching things, coming up with a a, a moral dilemma. You know that Fallout One and Two. There's all kinds of moral gray area kind of stuff that would go on where it's like you almost didn't have. Uh, a functioning good option. You know, there was nothing you could do. Um, same with the pit. I mean, the pit, the, uh, you know, you're given basically an impossible situation where there's no good way of handling stuff. And that's a, a typical Fallout game kind of thing. And the, these two missions, the Pikmin mission and uh, the Caleb mission here, the, uh, you know, what to do with Lorenzo, there is, there's not a lot of good options here. So that goes back to some Fallout tradition. I'm going to leave the rest of this. If there's anything unvoiced as it stands here, I'm going to leave that as kind of bonus material. But on this note, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is... I'll tell you what, the one thing that was amazed when I put this in the editor was how long it was. I had no idea... I'd spent this much time playing this game. That was it was a complete surprise to me, and that's a good sign. That means it was you know engaging and entertaining. So hopefully, uh, you'll be just as surprised. <laughs> of course, you get the little thing on the bottom of the of the window that tells you how long you got to go. But um, again, signs of good contents. You know when when you get lost in it, and as I just did. But that's more than enough, I think, for one video. On this note, Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, obviously not a lot of, you know, St. Valentine kind of things in here. Not a lot of, you know, the, uh, the beautiful aspects of, of St. Valentine and, and love and all kinds of stuff like that. Now, this was pretty gruesome, but Nick Valentine was here, so you know me and I love puns. 
But on that note, I hope you have a Valentine's Day that is not full of the kind of stuff you saw in this video. And, and have a great night. This is your Black Knight, so have a great night. I wonder if the daytime collecting will serve any purpose.